Here is a quick overview of the Pile PPHP1241 and 1541 portable PA systems. The units come with the following. You have your wireless belt pack, mic, transmitter, and headphone, and IVR mic. Set of AA batteries. A remote. Make sure you slide this out before use. Your AC charging cable. The wireless microphone. The bottom spins off. Put the batteries. And then you have your basic on and off switch. And a user manual. On the top and sides of the unit, you have your handles for travel and carry. You have your toe, which you press this button in the inside and pull up. You press it again to go down. On the back panel on the units, you'll see the SD card slot, USB slot for playing music. You have your LCD display and your mode back and forward, repeat scan, play, and pause button. Uh, this is for controlling your USB and SD media. You got your mic input, your guitar input, and then you've got your mic. You got your mic volume level and echo. Over here you have your bass and treble controls. This controls it for the whole entire unit. You have your guitar volume level right here. Your MP3 volume control dial right here and then your master volume control dial right here. You have your aux in and out right here, and you have your mic priority button. Pushing this in will actually cause the volume of your mics to be louder and bring the music volume down. Here is where you have your wireless microphone control system. Here's your volume for the A mic and B mic, and the power switches are here to turn it on. Here you get your power button and your battery charge. Just turn on the unit, just turn on this one. Whenever you're charging it, turn it off and turn this on. And then plug in your AC cable right down here and then into the wall. On the front, you have the main 4-inch 9-watt driver and a lighted control panel. You have the power switch, micro USB power port, status LED, and mic input port. Also, a micro SD card slot, full-size USB input port, and aux in port. The buttons on the front are mode, repeat, light, play pause, and previous and next track. The dial in the middle controls the volume. On a full charge, the speaker can play continuously for 5 hours at max volume. When you switch the speaker on, it enters Bluetooth pairing mode by default. On your mobile device, select the EarRise T15 device in the Bluetooth menu to connect with the speaker. Now you can stream music wirelessly to the speaker. You can also play music stored on a USB drive or micro SD card by simply plugging these media in. Pressing the mode button switches to FM radio mode. The light button changes the color of the flashing LEDs. If you play music on the speaker at the same time, you can talk or sing over it using the mic, just like a karaoke machine. You can use the speaker as a PA system when there's no other audio input coming out of it. Overall, the speaker is a really nice value and performs well as a budget Bluetooth speaker for amplifying music from a mobile device, listening to the radio, or playing from USB, microSD, or aux input.